In this lesson, we are going to review two-term and three-term ratios. If you're in my class and taking these notes, you might want to pause this video throughout the video to take the notes down and to copy them, and you may want to rewind the video to watch the learning over again. Um, but that's what we're starting with here. So what you're going to want to start with if we're, as we're going to review these ratios is actually drawing this picture here of five oranges, two apples, and one banana. That's going to help us answer um, a few questions in this particular section. So first of all, the first definition that we looked at here is what is a ratio? Well, a ratio is, <clears throat> and what it does, is it compares quantities in the same units. So for example, fruit to fruit, those are the same type of units. Or girls to boys, those are the same type of units because they're both humans. Whereas if you're doing kilometers to hours, those are totally different units. So if you're doing kilometers per hour, that would not be considered a ratio because kilometers is a distance, hour is a time. So it compares quantity in the same units. Uh, number two here is a part to part ratio. And a part to part ratio is essentially, it compares parts of a group together or to each other. So parts. So if you look at this diagram here of the apples, oranges, and bananas, apples is a part of the diagram, oranges is a part of a diagram, and bananas are a part of the diagram. So as an example, if we were to um, write the ratio of apples to oranges, the order is important. So the number of apples is two. So there's two apples, and there are also five oranges, as you can see here. So the ratio, if I was to draw this in ratio notation of apples to oranges, you could write this one of three ways. You could write it as 2 to 5 with the colon. You could write it as 2 with the word 2, 5. Or you could write it as 2 to 5. So that's ratio notation. Those are the three ways that you can write ratios. And the order is important. So if it's apples to oranges, it has to be 2 before the 5 and not the 5 before the 2. Uh, and the final part of this lesson is a part to whole ratio. And what a part to whole ratio is, is it compares part of a group. It comes straight from the definition. So part of a group to the whole. And the thing we can do with that is we can represent it in one of three ways. We can represent it as a fraction as a decimal or as a percent. So because it's a part to whole ratio, we can def determine what decimal or percent of the entire group a particular fruit is. So if we're looking at this next uh, example here, which is bananas to total, you'll notice that there's eight fruit in total and there's one banana. So the, the fraction would be there's one banana out of eight total, and that is your fraction. Once again, remember that you can pause this video and um, write down some of these notes as you're doing, or you can rewind it to review it if you'd like to. So one out of eight of the fruit is a banana. If you'd like to make that a decimal, all you do, and this was taught to you in the study guide, is divide the fraction. So the decimal of the whole group that is a banana, if you do that on your calculator, is 0 0.125, and that's the decimal. And finally, if you want to make that into a percent, you simply multiply the decimal by 100, and what you will get is 12.5% of the total fruit is, or are, bananas. <coughs> 